Hello, hello. Yeah, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is when is the right time to kiss a girl? And this is a very crucial topic because obviously this is what will escalate your meeting or date into potential sex. You know, depending on the girl and the interest and you know, you and that, all that good stuff and what you're looking for, you know what I mean? But it just escalates the interest more than just being casual, you know, um, and obviously more than just flirting. So uh, it's very important to really know when is the best time and the right time to go for the kiss. So obviously um, the keys are is she making it easy for you, making your life in the, or in that moment? Is she obedient, submissive to you? And is she following your lead? Those four things are crucial signs. Whether you are um, dating the girl or you just met her. Those are crucial signs to show where her interest is. And she, so you are able to tell how high her interest is. You know, so you always got to keep that in mind. When it comes to um, a girl, she has to be making things easy for you. You have to enjoy being around her. Not only is she, she blessed and graced with your time, but also your potential kiss. She has to earn it. You know what I mean? So it's very important that you keep that in mind and only kiss girls who have earned the kiss. You know, though we've had situations um, where a girl may have been a little distant, but still engaging, but maybe a little bit, you know, um, resistant. But guys have still gone for the kiss and she kissed them and they were still able to have sex with her that night on dates, you know, and I'm sure even in person, you know, when you first met somebody at a bar or whatever. So all those, you know, when it comes to the, um, you know, following your lead or being submissive and, you know, making your life easier, those are just guidelines. They're not etched in stone, but they just show you a girl's interest and in they give you a higher likeliness um, that she will want to kiss you, you know, if you go for it. You know, so it, it is very important that you are aware of that. So, um, the uh, kiss test. This is something that uh, Corey Wayne talks about. He named it the kiss test, but I guess it's just kind of, um, you know, knowing when... Uh, is the right time to go for the kiss. It's very simple and, and very crucial because if you don't know when you go for the kiss, a girl will only see you as a friend. No matter how much you flirt, no matter how attractive she may be to you or you may be to her, if you don't know the right time to go for the kiss, it, it is over. It's over, you know, and you may have blown your opportunity with that woman. So um, it's very important. And also, um, going for the kiss when she doesn't want it. This will help you really gauge that. And that is the key. That's why, that's the reason this is so crucial. Because you know when to go for the kiss and when not to go for the kiss. You know what I mean? So, um, though... Uh, Coach Corey Wayne, he says, as a man, you should always go for the kiss, at least at the end of the date. You should always go for it, no matter what, because you don't want to be on the date. And maybe she may be a, a shy girl or maybe a little bit more distant, but still have interest in you. And, you know, if you don't go for the kiss, she'll think you don't you don't like her just because she's kind of distant. So, you know, what I mean, and obviously, if you get the kiss, cool. But if you don't, or you get the cheek, then you know where you stand. You know what I mean? And you know um, she's just not that interested. And you got to move on. You know, in a perfect world, of course. 
and move on from girls who aren't interested in you or you show the signs of lack of interest. But the kiss test, the kiss test is crucial and it's very simple. All you do is you look in a woman's eyes and then at her lips. You do that a few times while you're talking or she's talking, look in her eyes, left, right, and then at her lips. Look in her eyes, left, right, and then at her lips. But the key in what makes it so successful and what you really want to pay attention to is if she does it back to you. She looks at your eyes, left, right, and then back at your lips. Looks at your eyes, left, right, and then back at your lips. If she does that after you did it or if she did that before you did it, and then you do it back to her, you're golden. She's ready. You better lick your lips and say, hey, I know you want to kiss me. Stop wasting time. Get over here and kiss me. Or whatever you want to say. Initiate the kiss because she's ready. Because if you blow that opportunity, she is not going to find you as attractive and she may friend zone you. Because that is is the sign that she wants to be kissed and you have to go for it because as a man that's what you do take that risk you know and whenever she shows you um, that she's ready I mean that's pretty much it <laughs> go for it and make it happen you know um, but I did want to say you know, Coach Corn Wayne and other people say, I always go for the, the kiss after the date. But if you're getting those signs and you've done the test um, during the date, um, even if it's in the beginning or when you first met somebody, go for the kiss. You guys could either stay there and kiss, you know, make out some more or, or leave. You know what I mean? Go do some, uh, some naked wrestling. You know? So... It, 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 there's no set time to go for the kiss, but when the signs are there or she's passed that test, the kiss test, those are better opportunities um, to take advantage of. You know, again, there's nothing set in stone. Those are just guidelines to look for. You know what I mean? So, very crucial um, but uh, of course you got to understand you also have to be ready for it you know don't don't you know you might be doing the kiss test and she passes the test and then you're like oh my gosh she might be she actually wants to kiss me and again if you freeze and you don't do it you you potentially have friends on yourself of course if she really likes you she really, really likes you, she may give you another chance on the second date. But then she kind of has an idea about you already. You know what I mean? So it's not as, as, as um, it's not really as good if you hesitate from the first date when you know she wanted to kiss you or you know she has interest. I mean, at the end of the day, the worst she, she could do is, you know, uh, reject the kiss or give you the cheek and then you know she's just not that interested and you got to move on and of course that's where your mindset comes in you know what I mean but you should always assume if you're talking to a girl or if you're on a date with her especially that she wants you I mean it's very simple what would you go on a date or talk to a girl if you don't think she wants you you should always assume she wants to have sex with you or you, she wants to be in a relationship with you. Whatever you want from her, you should assume that she wants it. Keep that in mind. You know, that abundance mindset. You know what I mean? All girls want you. And if they don't, it's their loss. Go on to the others. You know, that also will help you um, to be more comfortable going for the kiss. Because you're going to assume she wants to kiss you. You know, so... This is all very simple stuff, um, but of course, um, whenever us men, we feel rejection, some of us, weaker men, let's be real, weaker and insecure men, 
when we deal with rejection and you know we don't really um, handle it very well we got to understand um, to stay out of our emotions you know we get rejected and you know we want to hold our head down and we don't want to constantly we don't want to constantly move forward we want to you know say oh man she rejected me I'm gonna just you know wait for choosing signals or and I'm gonna just you know take a break from dating and women you know and and that's always the wrong approach you don't ever want to be um, you know defeating yourself because of a failure those are the moments when you have to move forward because depending of course on how bad you want it it will not come to you <laughs> unless if you go for it and that's what men do you know what I mean we take advantage of opportunities and if there are none we make them you know what I mean so you have to be willing to always move forward despite the rejections and the failures because that's what strong men do emphasis on strong you know so if you um, want to be a ladies man you want to get married you want to you have to have first the mindset and then second you have to take action and that's the only way it's gonna happen it's not gonna come sit on your lap you know what I mean people you know um, it's just not gonna be easy you're gonna learn you're gonna fail you're gonna have to learn and keep on going but it will only happen when you make it happen so that's what I got for y'all today you know I hope y'all enjoy this video like comment subscribe hit that notification button um, let me know what other topics you want to talk about um, and if you value this video donate I appreciate any donations you know you guys give so until next week, I will see y'all. Be safe. Peace.